my dad um, immigrated when he was 12 or 13, and he came at a time in U.S. history when the government wanted Mexicans, like in the late 50s to early 60s, because they needed more manual labor help. And so it was at a time when there was just a lot of opportunity. They lived in Juarez for a couple of years, which is on the border with the U.S., to get their visa. They got their visa to move into El Paso, Texas, which is just literally over the border. And then a few years after that, he got his citizenship and it was super easy. The way he tells the story is a teacher asked him, hey, you want to get your citizenship? My dad said yes. The teacher helped him go to the courthouse and they, he got his citizenship. If you know anything about immigration now, that is very, very different. Undocumented immigrants from Central South America, as well as Mexico, they're living in the shadows. You know, we hear about them a lot in the news in terms of being monsters and criminals, but they're like anybody else. They're just doing what they can to survive. They're leaving desperate situations. Sometimes it has to do with economic. Um, now we see that they're coming because of the violence and, and in the past, um, it also had to do with uh, war-torn countries. Um, now the violence is, some of it is related more to, toward gang violence or domestic violence. They're fleeing in a rush. They're not, they don't have refugee status, but they are refugees. They're coming here, paying into our tax system. They're doing everything that they can to make a living, sometimes working three jobs if they need to, and they don't have a path to citizenship because they didn't come in, as some people will say, the right way. Today, millions of undocumented immigrants are left with no path to citizenship in a future that remains unclear and increasingly insecure. Migrants are fleeing violence and abuse to find safety in the United States, yet even here they're at high risk daily of being deported back to these dangerous situations. Only 10,000 green cards are allocated each year, and even immigrants who are lucky enough to fall under the stringent criteria often are forced to wait decades to receive one. Within that time, they live in constant fear of deportation. On top of that, American society has alienized immigrants and set a strong bias against people crossing the border. Americans condemn immigrants without documents, but don't consider how complicated getting those documents can be. It's becoming increasingly more difficult to get a green card, and the vast majority lose hope quickly. There is a very long process, could take years and even decades. Um, it's very expensive, taking, it could cost thousands and thousands of dollars. Some people are concerned that undocumented immigrants are bringing violence into their communities, but studies have shown that the opposite is true. From 1990 to 2013, violent crime in the United States declined by 48% at a time when the undocumented immigrant population tripled. It's a significant part of our economy. In 2016, undocumented immigrants contributed $15.9 billion in taxes. They also tend to settle in jobs that most Americans don't pursue making up 50% of field and crop workers, which is crucial to agriculture and economy. 